this is Spidey1958 and welcome to my new Let's Play of Solastra, Crown of the Magister. They have released the final, the final version, the full version, the 1.0, and that, and I promised some people I would do a playthrough of it, so here we are. So... Most of you have seen some of this before. I'm not going to go into great detail. We're going to um, create some characters. So let's create some custom characters. I think what I'm going to do is use one of each of the races and go with the standard fighter, cleric, thief, wizard. Just to see. So let's go. Let's let's see. What do we want for watch? I think the rogue will be a halfling. The wizard will be a high elf. Ooh, do we want the dwarf to be the cleric or the fighter? Hmm. Hmm. Let's have the human be the fighter and the cleric be the dwarf. So next, and we already decided fighter. And let's edit equipment here and change out the Dungeoneers pack for the Explorers pack, which gives them a small smith toolkit. Okay, and next, let's go traditional. Uh, do we want to go traditional? Can make him an aristocrat. So an aristocrat would give him history, persuasion, and intimidation. Two languages. Cell sword would give him athletics and intimidation. Academic, notebook and commoner's clothing, Could go law keeper, yeah let's go with law keeper. So we're going to give them authority and lawfulness. And we'll make him, make her, sorry, pragmatic and kind. Do do do. -do. Go with dice rolls and see if we can get a nice set of rolls. That looks like a nice set of rolls to me. No 18 low. Hmm. Do we want to get greedy? Eh, let's get greedy. Eh, not that good. We could sit here all day. Next time we get a 17, yeah, we'll take this. So we'll put the 17 in strength. After all, they are a fighter. We'll put a 14 in dex and a 14 in con. An 11 in intelligence. An 11 in charisma. Uh, actually, let's put the 11 in wisdom and a 10 in charisma. So a reasonable fighter. Not great, not horrible. We could have rolled a whole bunch more, but I think that will do. So which style? So shields aren't a weapon. So let's do that so we get the plus two bonus on damage rolls with our main weapon. Okay. So 
So we already have perception and intimidation. We want athletics. And what to do with the other? Not really. Let's go with survival. Since we don't have a, not planning on having a ranger. And we will go with Elvish and Orcish. Next. Okay, uh, let's. So we only have those few faces. We'll go with that one, and I don't think I like. Eh. Simple, straightforward hair. I like that. Uh, she's a fighter. Let's up her physique a little. Uh, let's make her eyes blue. Her hair color a little more red. Use she pronouns. Closer attention required, friend. What a fantastic leap! You can do it! You're still standing. I think we'll go with that. And what do we name her? Um. Good question. Uh. Name her Amanda, and her family name will be Lynn. finish. So there we have our fighter. So now we need to create another race. So let's do our dwarf cleric. So we want a hill dwarf for the plus one for wisdom. Which also gives us the dwarven toughness and a good con. So let's go next. Cleric. Next. Well, we probably want life. That gives us bless, cure wounds, lesser restoration, spiritual weapon. Yeah, I think we want to go with life. That's the healer, and that's what primarily our cleric's going to be there for. So if we make her an acolyte, she gets the crafting starting kit. She'll be proficient with herbalism, which we want. Okay, we will go with that, and we will make her altruistic, cautious, kind, but with some cynicism. Okay, and next. I think we'll go okay with that. So we will put one of those there, and one of those there. And one of those there. One there. Uh, one there. And one there. I think I'm okay with that. Okay, next. We get two additional class skills. They already 
We want medicine for one. The other one we have a choose choice between persuasion and history. Let's go with persuasion. And their background language, we will choose goblin. Okay, they get three cantrips. So we want one of them to be sacred flame. That's their zero, that's their low level attack. We'll use spare to dying. And sparkle. And what do we want for hair? I'm okay with that face. Wow, that is a lot of hair. I think we'll go with that one, so we'll make it more brown. And let's make her eyes green. No, not her hair. Her eyes green. And I take no prisoners. What a fantastic leak! More caution next time. I don't remember what we used last time, but let's go ahead and use that one. Stay with she, they. Now let's call her Claren. Axe Swinger. Except I don't want two, two A's in there. Okay. So that finishes up our Cleric. So next we want to build a Rogue, I think. And we decided Halfling for the Rogue. So Marsh Halflings get Con plus one. Island halflings get charisma plus one. Let's go with this one. And we'll go with rogue. Rulers pack has torches, rations, antitoxin, crafting, basic poison, and basic poison. Okay, I think we'll stick with that. We didn't check on the cleric, but I'm okay with that. Do you want him to be a low life? Make him an aristocratic hobbit. Halfling, sorry, halfling, not a hobbit. Uh, let's go ahead and just make him a traditional low life. We'll make him egotistical, cautious, 
cynical. And let's give him a little greed. He is a thief after all. Ah, we'll be re-rolling that. Ah, uh, do do yeah. do do. I'm okay with this one. So I'll give him a 19 dex and a. Actually, let's give him a 14 con. A 14 intelligence. Let's give him a, a 10 strength. 13 charisma and an 11. Well, let's swap these. Okay, and next. It's four skills. Perception is a must. Investigation. Insight. Acrobatics. Class expertise. These tools. And, ooh, this is a tough one. Let's make it perception. Oh, I bet I screwed that up, didn't I? Yep, I screwed that up. Okay, and next. That's close enough to what we had before. Let's con. And let's. Not as good as stats, but that's okay. And we wanted perception and investigation. Insight and persuasion. And these tools and perception. Actually, I'm mostly okay with that. Let's make the hair color a little more exotic. I think that will do. Again, harder. Well done. Crush him, clumsy idiot. Rhonda Backstabber. And our last new character will be our wizard, who will be High Elf. 
because they get intelligent. We could also have been Sylvan Elf who get wisdom, but we want intelligence. We're a wizard. And we get uh, extra wizard contract. So that's good too. So next, wizard. Next. Okay, we got some choices here. Academic. Let's make her an academic. And we're making a pragmatist, egotist, but with a kind and authority. So we'll put that in there and that in there, that in there. She doesn't need much strength. Actually, we better reroll that. I know I had an 18 there, but okay. 18, 18, 14, we'll put the 9 in strength, the 11 in charisma, and the 14 in wisdom. And next, okay, gets two class skills, one ancestry, and two background languages. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Now let's give history. Let's give medicine. Okay, gets one ancestry language out of a giant and speaks old. Travelin and Terran. Next, cantrips. One ancestry cantrip. Okay. So let's give her a shine. Dancing lights. Ray of Frost. And light. For their class spells, let's go with Magic Missile, of course. Um, detect Magic. Identify Mage Armor. Shield. And Thunder Wave. Okay, next. Definitely want blondish hair. Good with the face, but that hair has to change. 
Too much like the dwarves. I think that one's okay. Fine with that skin tone. We got the color. Seeks fine. Such athleticism. Blessed are the light bringers. Let there be light. Even the dead could hear you. Clearly you have trained well. And we will call her... Oh, what do we call her? Tina... Bolt Lobber. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and start a new game. We'll leave it on authentic mode, which is the default, which is basically tabletop rule set. And we will select our characters. I can remember what I call them. That's our fighter. That's our cleric. That's our wizard. And there is our rogue. I think that will actually do it. Before the Cataclysm, there were no gods on Celasta. No humans, either. And then, the rift opened. Some say it was a magical accident. Or the work of an evil god. No one knows for sure. The Cataclysm destroyed the old High Elf Empire. Manakalin, they called it. And twisted the land beyond recognition. Now, only the brave and the foolish go there in search of ancient treasures. But something is happening deep in those badlands. Whatever it is, can't be good. Newly discovered road offers a safer route into the ruined heart of the Empire from the Principality of Maskoth, upsetting the balance of power. I'm not going to read all that. Sorry. I'll leave it there for a moment so people can freeze frame and read it. And in fact, why don't we go ahead and call it an episode at this point. Um, we basically got the party done, got the little intro thing, so I think it's a good point to end it. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and give me a like or a comment. And if you dislike the episode, leaving a dislike's fine, but please leave a comment saying why you disliked the episode. As always, this is Spidey1958, and have fun gaming. <laughs>